might be able to escape the hot and sticky weather. Some are required to be outside in this dangerous heat. Alexis Zotos is in University City tonight telling us how workers are trying to stay cool. David, you heard Steve talk about the morning temperatures. It's 10 o'clock at night and it is still pretty toasty out here. I've got a my little fan, which is helping keep me cool out here because there's a lot of folks that can't go indoors during these hot temperatures. Construction workers like the site right behind me in University City, that is one of those groups that will have to brace this heat wave we are seeing this week. We're talking to those that have to be out and about during the heat. Splash pads across the region will be popular this week as everyone works to stay cool. Stay in the water, stay indoors. The pressure family is visiting from Wisconsin. Locals know St. Louis summer heat must be taken seriously. Um, as much ice and water as we can find. <laughs> popular outdoor attractions like the Muni, Raging Rivers and the zoo will all continue to welcome visitors despite hot temperatures. The zoo has many cooling spots and says they have medics on hand for guests who become overheated. But if you want to stay out of the heat, the St. Louis Aquarium might be the spot. There's definitely a lot of cool stuff to do inside, um, both at the aquarium and then our attractions as well. And we are ready for everyone to come in and see us. Not everyone has the option to be inside. Workers on construction sites from MoDOT to Ameren will still do their jobs out in the sweltering heat. These high temperatures this week, they're, they're, very, they're very dangerous and they present a hazardous, hazardous condition in the workplaces. Ameren crews have been busy this July. While power is restored from storms earlier this month, there's a lot of work still to be done. They're clocking in earlier this week to avoid some of the hotter parts of the day and reminding all crew members to be cautious and careful. Yeah, the message to the team is stay cool, stay hydrated. You know, encourage them to take frequent breaks throughout the day. Look, it seems like obvious advice and we are no strangers to hot summers here in St. Louis, but this is the hottest weather that we have seen this summer and it is going to feel oppressive. The National Weather Service calling it dangerous. So remember, fill up those water bottles, stay out of that sun if you can, especially during those peak times of very, very hot weather as much as possible. Reporting live in University City, Alexis Otos, News 4. Alexis.